Hey, welcome to the channel. Today's going to be a really quick tutorial video, something that's super simple, and I actually can't believe it took me this long to find out that this was possible. I've been using the GH5S for about two years now, and I've always been really annoyed with this little uh, touch tab row of icons on the right side of the LCD screen. Uh, they just get in my way when you're trying to frame up a shot. You can never quite see what's in the very far right. I never use them. I f feel like it's just kind of finicky. It's a little bit too small. So I never really bothered setting it up or really even paying attention to it. I was just always annoyed with it. It just never occurred to me that you could get rid of it because every other GH5 owner that I've ever seen had it on their screen and either complained about it or really never mentioned it. All the videos on YouTube I've ever seen of people doing tutorials always have that on there. I just thought it was inevitable. It was just a fact of GH5 life that that little stupid touch tab was just permanently there. But of course, this camera is so freaking customizable and flexible that yeah, you can get rid of it and it's like right there in plain sight. So I'll show you how to do that. But if you are some sort of weirdo and you think that you need the extra five function buttons that are that are enabled via the little touch tab, but I'm gonna show you how to customize those function buttons because you do get the ability to program function buttons seven through 11 on the touch tab. So if you really need those extra five functions, I'll show you how to set them. All right, so this is really easy. And this is what I'm talking about here, this little row of uh, touch, the touch tab, which I find extremely annoying. It's taking up all the screen real estate. So in order to get rid of this, all you need to do is go into the menu, obviously, in the custom wrench category. I'm gonna go to operation and then scroll down to page four out of seven and down here to touch settings and then go to touch tab set that to off obviously and we go back out and voila that hideous little touch tab is now gone what a miracle but if you're some sort of weirdo or masochist or something and you actually want to use that touch tab because it does enable uh, function buttons 7 through 11 you can set them on the touch tab so to do that i'm going to re-enable the touch tab and then scroll up, uh, still in operations category, scroll up to page three out of seven, and it's function button set. So you can set function buttons to um, function in either the record mode or in the playback mode. So whichever you want to set, it's up to you. We'll just, for the example of this video, just go into the record mode, and you see this diagram, which uh, shows you where all of the function buttons are. Functions one through 11. And the ones we're concerned with are 7 through 11 because they're mapped right here onto the touch tab. So this is extremely self-explanatory, but just for the sake of this video, you can just click on whichever one you want to set by just tap, tapping it, or you can just scroll to it whichever way and just click on it. And you have 19 different options. So one out of 19 starting from Wi-Fi all the way down to off. <laughs> so whatever you want to set, uh, this isn't like a suggestion of what you should set. I'm just giving you the example. You can do whatever the hell you want to. Now I'll go back out and hit that function tab. And there you can see you've got function seven set to enable Wi-Fi, function eight, picture, Profile, function nine, X tally convert, function 10, set our zebra levels. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. Hope you learned something. Like, like I said at the beginning, can't believe it took me that long to even think that you could actually disable that. Of course you can. So if you like this video, feel free to like, dislike if you disliked, subscribe maybe if you're feeling generous. And if you have any suggestions, things you want to know about the GH5 or GH5S, leave them in the comments. I'd be up for doing more of these simple tutorial videos. All right, see you later.